Hey, that was way more cringy than I expected. I'm doing that again. Anyways, my name is Dion and this week we're gonna do a western piece. And yes, I'm gonna stick with this accent for the rest of the video. One, because I kind of want to see if I can pull it off. And two, because I really don't have not much else to do. I'm gonna make a pretty little town and I'm also gonna add a badass man of the law to the scene. So that we have a main character that we can cheer for. But first I want to ask something of you. Please don't skip ahead, I know it's tempting to skip ahead, I know it's, it makes sense in everybody's mind to just skip to the end, but, but pl please just help me out, bitch. <laughs> please help me out, I need the, I need the view time, alright? Do me a solid and please don't skip ahead. I'll tell you what, let's meet half point. Just watch this video, and just watch this video until the midpoint, and then you can go like, you know, I supported this son of a gun long enough, I'm gonna skip to the end. Watch it to the main point and then skip to the end. I'm okay with that. It's been halfway point. Got it? Alrighty, boy. Let's go. Alright, so the first thing I had to do was make the background. I found a pretty town that I already wanted to use, but it was missing some of those classic buildings to give it that cowboy feeling. So I went ahead and selected all the buildings in this image and pasted it onto the next one. <laughs> The next thing I had to do was to mask out this card and go through the painstaking process of selecting each and every little space on the wheels. And just to emphasize on how painstaking that process really was, I'm gonna put a clip of it on real time. There you go. Is that enough? Yes. I think it really drove my point home. Okay, let's continue. The reason that I select this card is because I want the building that I selected earlier to be a little bit more visible. I don't want them to be covered by this card. Second, you can see a goddamn SUV through the wheels of this thing. And correct me if I'm wrong, well, there were no cars on the Wild West. Therefore, I had to move it to the side, then slay some patches of ground to cover the car. And of course, color matching and color grading so that everything has the same tone and the same light to it is inevitable, is your bread and butter as well as selection, so let's get that done and out of the way. Then I decided to add some cowboy boots to the car that is closest to us. You know, just to make it look a little bit more lived in, like people are actually moving around in there. This barrel is a surprise, I'll tell you about it later, but for now let's go to the background of our background. Again, I had to remove the posts, the electric posts and all of the cables because there was no electricity in 1895. This time I am being serious, please do correct me if I'm wrong, I am not that much of a history nerd when it comes to electricity and when it was invented. As you can tell, I didn't do an excellent job removing the cables from the background. You can see, if you look really close, that the background is cloned and is tampered with. But then again, I emphasize, if you look really close, something you gotta learn as a visual artist, being special effects, paintings, drawings, 
Photoshop manipulations like this is that most of the time people are either one not gonna notice or two it's gonna be too far away and too small of a detail that even if they want to notice they won't be able to look at it. That goes for mistakes and itty bitty tiny details that you really want to have in your piece but they're really not worth it because nobody's gonna see them. So keep that in mind. Let's continue. Alright folks, that's the background done, and as you can tell by how it turned out, I think it's fair to say that I am the best Photoshop artist on this side of the river. This street. The, this, this side of the street. Okay, this room, alright? I am, I am alone in this room, and I am the best Photoshop artist in this goddamn room! Now it's time for the reveal of our epic Man of the Law Sheriff. I know, I know. Hecking cute. Anyways, let's remove the background from this bitch so that we can add some clothes onto it. He's the sheriff, he can't be naked! last two little details on these little guy's outfits is, of course, the mustache. Come on, people, every badass sheriff from every cowboy movie has to have a mustache. But they have to have the curled down mustache. Everybody knows that a curled up mustache is for the bad guy. And if you didn't think that way, then now you do. And if you still don't think that way after what I just told you, then fuck you. And of course, my beautiful and lovely audience, and this little guy wouldn't be the sheriff without his golden star. If there is a man of the law, then has to be a man of the crime. So, we're gonna make a wanted post for his, let's say, nemesis. And of course, this guy is gonna have the curled up mustache, because like we stated before, a curl up mustache is a mustache of a bad guy.
we're close to getting into the final wrap up of this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the music and slow down the pace. I'm gonna pull the mic closer to me and look straight into the camera. I'm gonna cue in some epic fantasy music that doesn't really fit the western theme whatsoever, but it's really good at building dramatic tension for an epic final reveal. Let's get it, boys. That looks good. You know what? Sometimes you don't believe the stuff I do. And you think I'm kidding. But I'm not. <laughs> now, while I'm here, I also want to thank you. You and everybody who stuck with me from beginning to end and I watched the whole video. Hand on hand, side by side. That means the world to me. And I hope we can do it again on the next video. And whoever skipped ahead. Your mom's a hoe! Fucking bitch! If you wanna get in touch with me, I just opened a Twitter account where you can DM me, where you can leave comments on whatever stupid thing I say. And of course, you can even suggest ideas for future videos if you so desire. Twitter and Instagram on the link below. But that is it for this week, my people, my lovely, lovely people. I'll see you in two weeks with the next Photoshop matte painting, Photoshop composite, however you want to call it. <laughs> Have a good one, and I'll see you when I see you.